Question 11. So let's just summarize where we are. The first four kilometers, six minutes per kilometer. So for the first, the first four kilometers, each one's going to take six minutes. So that's 24 minutes. Now five and six. So the fifth kilometer is going to be 5% more. So that's going to be 6 times 1.05. And the sixth kilometer would be 6 times 1.05 squared. And then if we just add these together, that comes to 36.915 minutes. Don't forget to convert this back into seconds, and that's 36 minutes, and it's actually 54.9 seconds, so that's 55 seconds, which is, which is what we wanted to get to, right, just here. Now, part B. If you just have a little think about part B, it says show that our estimated time in minutes. OK, so it's just trying to get us to write this down here. Well, let's have a little think. Well, the fifth kilometer. Think about that is is R. That's that's what they've used in this R. So that would be that's six times one point zero five to the one, if you like. So that's R take away four. And then. The sixth one is 6 times 1.05 squared. So that's, again, that's R take away 4. So from there, you can say it's going to be like this, isn't it? And that would be fine for your mark. Whoops, there we go. Move that up for you. Right, now on part C. Now I'm going to be honest with you. I made a mistake on this question the first time I did it. And I'll, I'll, I'll do it correctly. And then I'll show you what I did. Um, so... What have we got? It's, it's asking us to estimate the total time in minutes and seconds you take to go and complete the race. So we've got those first 24 minutes, and then we've got 16 more kilometers. And what you should know, and you can see this from the formula book, is that the sum of a series like this is going to be don't get confused about R, what R is here. And A, I'm going to tell you what we think A is in a second. So R is the rate of increase, 1.05. Now, don't get confused by R here in, in R up here. That is a little bit confusing. Um, and N is going to be 16 because we're looking from the fifth one to the 20th one. Now, what's this value going to be here? Yes, this is where I made a mistake. Um, because the fifth one, the first one that you're thinking about is 6.3. That's 6 times 1.05. That's this value just in there. And not 6, right? Yes, that's the mistake I made. I went and put 6 in there and I got my answer and then I was like, ooh, wait a minute, what on earth's going on here? So if I just go and plug these in to this here, that will give me the sum from the fifth one, that's the fifth one, to the 20th one. So remember you're using that 6.3, otherwise you're going to be slightly out on your answer. You could do it from the fourth one and then have 17 there. So you could have 6 there and 17, right? But then that would be 18 over there. All right, so you've just got to be really careful when you're working with these. So that's going to give us a 1 minus 1 1.05 to the 16, and that's over 1 minus 1 1.0. Five, and pop that in your calculator and you'll come out with 173 minutes. Make sure that you make the conversion back to seconds because obviously it'll give you a decimal answer. All right, there you are.